Okay, welcome back. Um, this is a video answering question number two from Solomon B of the P1 collection. And this is question 11 from my end of topic worksheet number two of quadratics. This is from uh, P1 for my AS students. And this question here tells us about this quadratic curve y equals x squared plus ax plus b, where a and b are constants. It says, given that the minimum point of C has coordinates minus 2, 5, find the values of A and B. So basically, the minimum point is referring to the vertex of the curve. Okay, so the vertex of the curve is minus 2, 5. That's the vertex. And we can see that, basically, if we complete the square, all right, we'll end up with something that looks like this, a squared bracket. And inside the bracket, you're going to have the opposite of the x coordinate as a number here because the vertex occurs when this bracket becomes zero. Okay. And what's left on the outside is the y value of the vertex. Okay. So this is the lowest point that this can ever reach is going to be, is going to be five. The lowest point you'll ever reach on the y axis will be five. And then that's when x is minus two. Okay. So minus two, five will be the, the lowest point that it reaches. Oops. What am I talking about? It's going to be over there, something. Something like, over, something like this. Minus 2 and 5. Okay, so that's your minus 2 and that's your 5. That will be the vertex. It will never, ever be able to go below there, okay, because it tells us it's the minimum point. And the reason why this completing the square um, looks like this is because, basically, that 5 is the lowest it can ever reach. All right, and what makes um, it reach, you know, basically that five is that this, this squared bracket will always be positive. Okay, it'll always be whatever comes in here is going to become positive. So it doesn't matter what value of x you put in here, whether you put x equals minus 100 or x equals positive 100, whatever goes in there is going to get squared. So it's always going to be something added to this five. Okay, the lowest it can ever become, this whole um, expression, the lowest value it can ever have is five. When this bracket is equal to zero, and this bracket equals zero when x is minus two. That's why minus two, x equals minus two is the x value of where the vertex is. So basically, all you have to do when you have a see a question like this, you know the vertex, and you want to find the equation in this form, you can write it in this completed the square form, and then from there you can um, just modify it to that. And in this particular question, we don't have to worry about any constant that might be here because we know that the constant is equal to one. Because this is, it doesn't say ax squared, or it doesn't have a constant in front of the x squared. There's a 1 there. So there must be a 1 here as well, because when you expand the bracket, you end up with 1x squared. So we don't have to worry about anything like that. And we can just simply expand this, and we'll get our answer. So this is y equals x squared plus 4x plus 4 plus 5. So you have y equals x squared plus 4x plus 9. Simple as that. Okay, that's the answer to this question. And it's a lot easier than the type of questions that we had in like the test your understandings at the end of the, um, you know, end of the presentations and stuff that we had in class, where you had to basically also, you weren't sure if, the, if the, there was an, there was an A, it was in the form of A equals AX squared plus BX plus C. So we had to also find um, what the co co coefficient of X squared was by using another point that they would give us in order to do that. So this is a lot more straightforward than those questions. And, um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, you'll understand how to do this for the student who asked me to do it. And you should look back at the notes of this particular um, topic and try to do the test your understandings and you know, practice from the book. Just look at the more detailed questions of these types. Okay, so um, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.